Hey, good afternoon. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Now that's our first. I usually say good morning, but we're out here in the afternoon, late afternoon. It's about three o'clock. We're actually going to go ahead and do a little bit of work on this job that we're starting tomorrow. Basically, you can see through this area here, we're going to be putting in a gravel perforated pipe, hooking up the downspout. What's been happening is, of course, this driveway floods all the way down. You can see all the dirt on the driveway come right down through here all the way over here to this rock which is called riprap this is six inch stone here in the stone we're going to put a catch basin we've got to remove some of this stone quite a bit of it you can see Chuck over there starting to stack up the rocks we need an area to trench all the way down through here so let's get started So again, what's happening here is water comes down this hill of the driveway. Water comes down the hill of the driveway and it's just been flooding right over into the neighbor's property. There at the end of the drive, we're going to put gravel perforated pipe, bring our gravel to grade. It should act just like a channel drain. Water should drop into it, go around there behind this garage, sump pump. Hopefully we've got a good pump. We're going to use the Zoller M98 pumps about 80 gallons a minute so it should take care of that water of course you'll never beat mother nature but you know for the most part it should work really good so one thing that's really nice if you're going to be trenching is to always you know give your locators an idea of where you're digging what we're doing is we're putting out just a little white stripe so that we can show our line of where we're going to be installing so again, when you're excavating and you know there's lots of utilities, you can see that someone's already marked the area. But we call it and get it remarked. You can see our new white lines indicating where we're going to be trenching. Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we're installing a drainage system that actually runs off of the garage behind this house. Driveway slants all the way to the back, pours across into the neighbor's property. What we're doing is we're putting a sump pump in the very back corner, hooking up the downspouts, gravel perforated pipe, runs into the sump pump, and we're gonna discharge it right out here to the street. So what I'm doing is out front, cutting the sod, cutting the sod, and trenching on out to the street. So when you're cutting sod, if it's weak sod, you can usually just take your shovel and just make an edge. Try to keep your line straight. Other side, remember it's gonna be a shovel wide, so make sure it's wide enough. Make sure it's wide enough that you can put your shovel down in your trench. Take off about a one foot section. You don't want to go too deep. Get it down underneath, slide it up, and flip it onto one side of your trench. <clears throat> this way you can come back Put your dirt on the other side of your trench. Then when you put your side back, it will come back and hopefully it looks really good. Then after you dig backwards for a few feet, come back and scrape it out, clean it out. So back here in the back corner where everything draining to, you can see Chuck started the sump pit. We're just ready to clean that out and we'll be ready to put our pit in there. You can see it turns the corner here. This is where the inlet line comes from the driveway side way back there. We've got all kinds of stuff here. We've got cable, power, 
we're going to cross all those things as we come across there. What we have to do is take this wheelbarrow all the way around. Luckily we have a place to dump it. We've got to get rid of a lot of soil. Luckily he owns the lot next door and there's a good dirt pile that we can just put all our soil in there. You can see we've started our trench here from the sump or from the downspout of the house. It's going to come back down through here. It's also going to tie into that sump pit. We're using an M98, Zoller M98, to remove all this water and pump it all the way out to the street. So here are some obstacles that you find. This is the drain from the crawl space. You can see the crawl space door right over here. And this drain is draining the crawl space. It runs out to the back and just goes underground. But we don't want to cut that. We just want to go underneath. And all the way up to the downspout over here. Had to pull a few stones. We'll put those all back. Line comes down. Pick up another downspout right here. This is all gravity going back to the sump pit, which is back in that corner. There's also going to be a two inch pipe that runs up through this trench and is going all the way out to the street. So on this job, we're actually installing a Zoller M98. This is a half horsepower uh, pump with an inch and a half discharge. We're going to switch to two inch in case in the future he does need to go to even a larger pump, but this is the inch and a half discharge, sets up the same way as the M53. Pump about 80 gallons a minute on a five foot head. That's how high we're lifting. But we're also pushing about 130 feet, so probably about 70 gallons a minute, which is pretty fast. Um, one thing that we do need to do on this one is we need to drill a vent hole <clears throat> between the pump and the check valve, which we'll put the check valve on when we install the pump. So let's go on back there and set it up. So we set the sump pump down into the pit. The next thing that we've got to do is we've got to drill a two inch discharge for the discharge pipe. And we're just going to use the hole saw and we're just going to cut a hole right down through here, right at the top. So we cut a hole right down through there for the discharge. Now we're going to plumb the sump pump. Now we're going to plumb the sump pump up and out through this discharge. Next, we're going to go ahead and drill the vent hole. The little vent hole right there will keep this from ever getting airlocked. So, a good amount of glue here on the end. Then our 90. Push and hold that on there, good and tight. Next, we'll put some more glue around the riser itself. Good amount. Then we're gonna push and hold. So there's our pump down in the pit. Remember, this is a Zoller M98. Looks just like a M53, but it's a lot more powerful. And our discharge comes out. Now we're going to switch to two inch pipe. We're going to use a no hub adapter. This is an inch and a half to two inch no hub adapter. It just slides, slides in place. There's your, there's your coupling. And then at the end of this piece, we're going to put a check. <clears throat> so we've got our inch and a half to two inch adapter. Tighten those up nice and snug. So now we're ready for our check valve. You can see out here we'll set the check valve. That just keeps the water from coming back down the line. <clears throat> Runs down, you know, the pit's gonna, the pump's gonna lift it up and send it out all the way out to the street. <clears throat> now we're gonna drill a four inch hole for the other downspout to come into the sump pit. So this inlet is coming from the house, bringing the, the, the roof water back. This inlet is coming from the driveway and garage. All that comes down into the sump pit. Sump pump lifts it up. And of course, it's going to plumb it, push it 
all the way out to the street. <clears throat> so you can see we brought our uh, four inch corrugated solid pipe into the sump pit it's coming underneath of the discharge and this line runs all the way up you can see Paul up there we're going to cut it off there there'll be a T right there to hook up the downspouts and all of that water is coming back down here to the sump pit this is the lowest point remember we're also hooking up another line right here that comes from the driveway So over here where the gravel is going Paul's done a nice job we're right alongside the driveway you can see we're down there about 20 inches good depth we'll have a good base of gravel at the end down there we'll put a catch basin another catch basin fill it up with gravel and as that water comes down this driveway should drop into our system run over to the sump pump So while I was going to get gravel, these guys have already put down the catch basins in here. They've got the trench dug out. You can see water collecting in there already. Okay, so now we're getting ready to fill up this trench with gravel. We're down about 20 inches. And you can see we've got a whole yard of gravel over there. We're gonna put an entire base down here along the bottom. A good six inches of gravel down here at the bottom. Then we'll set our catch basins. We're gonna use four inch PVC. It's got the holes in it. These holes are gonna point down into the trench, like that. Then we'll finish so covering the next we're gonna go ahead and set these catch basins up. I've already taken out the screws that hold the grate in place. We've got to set these up for a double outlet. <clears throat> little barbs, they snap in, little nipples. Twist and hold it, locks it in place. Do the other side. Twist it in place. Nice and tight. Let's do another one. Remember it has graded edges, little nipples, slots for it. Push it in, twist it, make sure it's good and tight. Same thing on this side. Good and tight. Good. And our first one still has screws in it. <laughs> so you pull those out with your handy dandy drill. Pop off your lid. This one we're setting up to be the inlet line, so it's got a cap on the end. You saw me pushing them off. I'm going to leave the cap on. This actually goes on the outside. You could put it on the inside, but it goes on the outside. Snap it in place. Twist and hold it. Now we're ready to put our grates back on. So we're getting ready to set this basin. Remember that perforated pipe holes point down. So we're going to go ahead and put our basin in place. We're going to have Gerald throw some gravel over here behind the basin. You throw it best you can. We're going to fill this up so it's nice and secure, nice and tight. One more should do it. Good. Now we can actually start throwing the gravel cover to learn bring gravel all the way to grade.
So you can see we're just finishing bringing our gravel up to grade. Right now it looks a little messy, but once we clean it all up, it'll be really nice. Bring that gravel right up to the, to the bottom of that concrete. Remember we have PVC, perforated PVC, holes point down. The guys are covering the solid pipe, which leads to the sump pit. The sump pump picks it up and carries it away. Basically, this is a giant channel drain. Water will run down the, the driveway here and it will drop through the voids of the gravel down to the bottom of the trench and then it floods up into the holes of the perforated pipe and the pipe carries it away and our discharge is of course that sump pump so we had to make sure that we had a really good pump we put an m98 half horsepower about 80 gallons a minute and it should keep up with this quite well okay so we're pretty much finishing up here all we're doing now is we're plumbing the discharge of the pump which is the two inch schedule 40 pvc that's the white pipe you can see it's going all the way back there to the sump pit and our downspout drain is actually underneath of that line we're going to cover all that up here in just a second and um, right now we're just coming underneath the fence so we're going to put a coupling on here and be ready to put it up to the next piece okay so we've got our discharge pipe coming out here this is a two inch PVC discharge, when that pump kicks on, that water is actually going to shoot way across the street. <laughs> but you can see our sod put back on, raked up, goes through that garden bed, put it all back together. Everything's looking really good. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.